Police say the temperature in that pickup was well over 100 degrees. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. Tonight, investigators are considering criminal charges against the dog's owner. Let's get right to Jim Smith. He is live in Jamaica Plain with what happened. Jim? David, it's been a very tough night here at Angel Animal Medical Center in Jamaica Plain. First responders and vets did everything they could, but sadly, it was just too late. It's a horrible tragedy, and unfortunately, a dog did lose its life. Heartbreak on Burroughs Street in Jamaica Plain. A dog found inside a pickup truck on a hot day. He was rushed to Angel Animal Medical Center, but by then it was too late. Unfortunately, by the time the dog arrived, within a minute, his heart stopped beating. His uh, temperature on arrival was 109.7, which is as high as the thermometer will go, so it could have been higher than that. She says the male pit bull was probably in the car for at least two and a half hours. Other dog owners are outraged. That's disgusting. It's disgusting. People should be ashamed of themselves. It's very unacceptable. I mean, my dogs are like my kids, and I mean, if you can't take care of an animal, you shouldn't have them. Passersby saw the dog in distress and called 911. It's really heartbreaking. And I'm a physician also, so it's, you know, I, I, I feel terrible when something like this happens because I do feel like I could have done something if I'd been around. This summer, dogs have had to be rescued from cars in other local communities. It only takes 10 or 20 minutes for temperatures to rise to lethal levels. State laws have been toughened. In hot weather and, and you get the high humidity, you really have to take the dog with you. You cannot, even for five minutes, you can get your dog can get into trouble. Don't even do it. Don't even do it. It's just, it's actually a felony in Massachusetts. And those penalties can actually run up to seven years in jail and also include heavy fines. And just last year here in Massachusetts, a law was passed allowing people who see an animal in distress in a car to actually break into that car to rescue the animal if the owner of the vehicle can't be found in a reasonable amount of time. Live in Jamaica Plain, Jim Smith, WBZ News.